Oh, thank God music is playing. Whew. Sorry, guys. I was making coffee. I was making coffee. So I'm reusing uh, my uh, Dunkin' Donut cup to make some fresh coffee. There's a tip for you. Let's, uh, let me drop the link. Captain has something to show us all. I'm super excited! <laughs> wow. mm. What a crazy day. I hope everybody here has watched uh, the Style Collector interview video that I've done um, earlier. I released it as a premiere at 5 o'clock. I figured, you know what? I'll give people something at 5 o'clock, something to watch, maybe something to enjoy. Let me know what you think. We really, I wish I could have made that uh, video better with proper audio, with proper uh, kind of, uh, with proper B-roll. Uh, but I was kind of shooting from the hip. We were trying to do it quickly. He had a guy coming in to power wash uh, the, um, the driveway. And uh, that's why it was kind of, kind of noisy and very little light but but tomorrow i'm gonna try to go to the city and make a proper video everybody i'm gonna try to do it i'm gonna try to make a proper youtube video i was gonna do it today but it, it was raining so i couldn't do it let's see who do we have joining me for this sunday evening the reg do i get a prize for being first Ah, oh, I should, I actually, I should give prizes out to people for being first. That would be really cool. Got uh, Mahid Ahmed. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nico. Uh, Marco, upvoted. Thank you for the upvote. Shot in the dark. Hello. Hello, my man. Paul M. Tommy, reminding everybody to please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh Become a member to join the the Discord. The Discord, that's where it's at. Oh, and we got the style collector himself with a $5 super chat. Great video. Had a really good time. Thank you so much, my good friend. And uh, we're going to work. We're, gonna, we're working together. We're going to build a really fantastic collection for this gentleman. Uh, got, uh, let's see. Got Pavel. Uh, one squirt of bear maize for being first. <sighs> mm. By the way, if a bear, if you see a bear, do not play dead. Horrible, horrible idea. We got L Boogie. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, also, KC Upvote Team has put in so much work to set this up. This is the last we can do. That's right. Uh, uploading is free. It really helps the show. Um, okay. Let's actually, let's talk about, let's talk a little bit about the day dates. I know they're so impossible. Uh, it, it It's an impossible watch for most people. It's like a lifetime achievement. Where, where is a, like a, like a steel? Rolex. A lot of people will say 
that they're impossible to get. However, if there's uh, one thing that I'm trying to to teach you guys, and if there's anything, if there's something that you can take away from this show, is that it is possible to get Rolex at retail if you apply yourself, if you if you're dedicated. Because I think steel, steel, uh, sports steel, still is kind of in that a uh, range where almost anyone can get it. Let's. Marco, for example, he worked hard. He bought, let's be let's be clear, he got his first Submariner with his own money. So, because he saved up and uh, and he's got it. And the really cool thing about that purchase is that uh, your money's safe. Uh, that's why I think Steel Sports, very obtainable to almost anyone. Uh, Danger, Will Robinson, Tim. Didn't your doctor tell you to cut down on the Java intake? That's right. He did. He did. And that's why uh, there's very little coffee in this. As you can see, wait, I know I shouldn't be even drinking this stuff, but very little coffee, mostly milk. I'm just trying to get in, take in some protein, protein because I'm losing weight. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, tell me if you noticed that, that I lost a little bit of weight. I look much slimmer. Look, the, the chin is not that deep anymore. Uh, I know it's only been a couple of pounds, but it's it's working. It's working. The system, the system is working, everybody. Got Marco. Uh, the Submariner was hard. Yes, and that's the whole point. It's supposed to be hard and painful. And uh, that's why we appreciate it. Uh, at least we forget I also bought the Pam. So I'm not the normal person. Yes. Uh, that was actually, the Pam is a really cool watch because it, it, it gave you the kind of the courage to, to go into the Rolex because I think it, it was very similar with me because I got that, uh, Tag Heuer twin time. Once I had that, I, I realized do what, until you get your first watch whatever it is for first expensive watch you don't really know if you're actually going to be into watches and buying like a rolex as a first watch could be a mistake because if you're not really that into watches then uh, well actually you know what it's not going to be a mistake because you're not going to lose money on it unless you don't know what the hell is happening and you sell it to someone for cheap that would be a mistake uh we're worried about you tim oh Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Hello, Captain. How's it going? <clears throat> it's going well. Hello, Tim. Okay. Hello, chat group. Oh, you said you have some special unboxing for us. Yes, I did. I, did. I don't. I don't Ooh. recall. I don't recall saying anything like no? that. But where did you get that from? It might. It might be true. I don't have an unboxing, but. I don't know. I've yeah. seen some signs, s sprinkles of some hype uh, in the Discord. The There's Discord. just Captain just. Oh! Okay. I've seen you fly That's... through the Discord. <laughs> I got it. I get it. Yes. Very tricky. Tim is mm. on top. Of... Is that Tim or Tim Bot alerting mm, Tim? Tim Bot tells me everything that happens. He's watching. He's I'm, always I'm, watching. I'm just trying to share any knowledge that I get about any products that I might have bought thinking mm -hmm. about selling <laughs> you know always good to pass along uh you know the knowledge good information yes and then people can rip it to shreds by the way so that <laughs> so have you ha, did you order the thing that you posted or is that something you're planning to do or you already um, have it well it depends on what you're going to say about it because uh Oh, it's because I'm, oh <laughs> yeah. no, because no, I have no. something very similar. I pulled the trigger. Oh, very nice. Hello, I Marco. Pulled, I pulled the trigger. Oh yeah. my man, Marco. What's going yeah, on? Let's see if I can bring it up. Ferragamo. Fermagamo. 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 I always Fermagamo. pronounce it Ferragamo. It's Ferragamo. It's Fermagamo. 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 It's Fermagamo. Kind of Marco Fermagamo. probably pronounces it correctly. That's not even how he it's Ferragamo. It's Ferragamo. It's Ferragamo. <laughs> I just pronounce it Ferragamo because that's what Arcana pronounces it Ooh. as. Hello, Michael. Hello, Tim. Hey, Casey. Casey. Now, I don't see it here. 
Yeah, because I didn't get it on Ferragamo website. Ah, but, okay. You know what's interesting though? Because <clears throat> I didn't even realize that they uh, had this many this many bags. Yeah. I would have been uh I would have been bag overload. Mm. Um so I use a site called Gilt, and I'm sure some of your uh Ooh. chat groups are familiar with it. Um <clears throat> they kind of source different products <clears throat> from these companies. It's kind of a gray market. Gray market. Ah, it's like Joma Shop. It's like Joma Shop, but it's, I, I think it's a little bit of a, uh, another level. But I think they also yeah. partnered with like Saks or Saks's off brand. Uh -huh. I think they were bought out, but I, I've been using them for a couple of years. And, mm -hmm. you know, I probably should have done a little more diligence in terms of what you're doing right now. Yes. Um, but I'm a little bit of an impulse guy. So mm. when I, I'll look at it for a couple of days like this has been on my radar for about a week or even mm -hmm. longer because you and i and marco yes like talked about coach yes and so i'm going to show you the satchel that has been my daily driver oh that's it's a, a oh, disaster that's a cool let's one. see it look at this thing you're gonna you're gonna cry when you see this it's probably beat up to shreds gee wow this has it's been through the ringer man Captain, Man. it's time for an upgrade. You were due. <laughs> you were due, Jeez. brother. But you know what? I mean, as much as you, uh, you know, rip cool. on rip on coach, Tim. Yeah. They do make quite like for the price hey. point. You know what? Hey, you know it, what? It stands uh, up. It lasts. Steven, I got to say, it, it looks good. It, it, with, how, how long did you have it? That's a good question. I think I had it for five plus years, maybe seven. You know, it's hard to oh, know. That's good. Hello, Tommy. It's hard to know. Oh, what's up, guys? You know, but the good news, Tim, is I'm thinking about, and you and I could talk about this some other time, like, yeah. you know, doing something where if somebody wants it, you know, like, you know, in terms of, I don't know what these things, if you give these bags away, or usually I, like, give them to family or friends or something yeah. like that, but, yeah, um, you know, or sell them on eBay, but I don't really do that. So, mm. I, you know. You got patina on the bag. <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to give it a good old, uh, what do they call that? A power wash. A power yeah. wash. Do you know? Do you know what to power wash with? No, leather cleaner, probably. They, no, no. There's leather. They actually milk. have, they actually have uh, back spas here. You send your bags in, and they recondition everything till it looks exactly the, like new. This wow. thing is amazing. Uh, it's called Holy leather moly. milk. That's incredible. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this thing is does wonders for the leather. You can see here. Oh wow. Before mm. and then after. Incredible. It's incredible stuff, yeah. If you if somebody has a uh, like leather goods, uh applying this from time to time really gives uh, leather new life because over time leather dries up. Mm. And you don't want uh, you don't want it to to be you know to dry then because then it starts to crack, and uh, it can have some irreparable damage. But if you keep it conditioned, using mm. like one of these, uh, like let me make this picture. Oh, actually, there's probably customers leaving pictures of before and after because of how amazing this stuff is. So we can see here an example of woman's purse. See that? Mm. Just dry and then. Very nice new life and people you can you can actually use it on the couch as well to recondition your couch hmm. you have a leather couch incredible stuff i have i have it uh, i have a bottle as well because uh, i had some sa sa uh saddleback leather uh bags and this is highly recommended stuff oh and this is this looks like a saddleback leather bag look oh at that oh my god oh that right? looks wow oh my god yeah. <laughs> holy shit you know one looks kind of vintage though it's yeah. kind of cool looking the vintage one yeah you know like mm. it's not vintage it's dirty yeah. right yeah it's like it's a kind of sad it's a little mm. sad you wouldn't yeah. use it but but the cool thing so you have this bag that looks sad you put some uh leather milk on it and it just revitalizes and it makes it look badass man that i gotta yeah, tell you that 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 tip is is right there that's value right there i mean to, yeah. Know, yeah. to have that knowledge yeah leather milk uh, everybody and pavel and, and could... all m uh in the chat right they're saying use the leather conditioner for your cars seats mm -hmm. you can use oh, that as well yeah yeah, yeah yeah 
Make sure you don't have that leatherette stuff. So, so know? this thing Le you leather, can use leather. for, for this, has, this thing has multi, mul multiple purposes, but, uh, th this, this works on all the like genuine leather condition, uh, you know, stuff, genuine, genuine leather. A lot of people say the before looks better. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the <laughs> Joey Short I like the before, before killer. Too. Uh, yeah. I like the before picture. No, before the looks before better. pic looks. It looks unprofessional. Yes, yes. So imagine it, it, a hotshot lawyer meeting yeah. a client no. with that. It looks like Indiana Jones. Beat up, broken ass bag. <laughs> Come yeah. on, guys. Harvey no. Specter has a brand new briefcase. This is a hardworking bag. Pertain, these patina bags. Yeah, this is a hard-working bag. Our captain is the Harvey Specter of New York, okay, guys? Yeah. <laughs> but you need to revise. Even though, I, even though I stopped working in New York City. Well, actually, where I work now, we have a, a pretty decent-sized New York office, too. But Don't undersell yourself. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's the Kevin O'Leary of the law world, guy. Kevin O'Leary of the law world does not... Does not Needs a new bag. Does not exactly. wear. Does not have. He wears Prada sunglasses. He does not use a coach Rolex, bag. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. <laughs> Steven, and he has it's brand time. new leather bags. That's right. It's time for a new bag, and it and is. you said you, you got one of those Ferragamo bags, and you you know how I feel about the Ferragamo, uh, brand. It Go gives ahead. me Jagel Acutra vibes. You know, because it's not. Like it's not like Chanel, because like Chanel would be like Rolex. I thought or LV. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc leather is good too. Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc would be well, what, what like Mont Blanc is like Tag Heuer or something. Oh no, no, not to Tag Heuer. Sorry, sorry, it's like a Tudor. Uh, but Ferragamo, because they have so much uh real high quality stuff. I actually have one of their like travel travel bags. And uh, it's just it's very it's very good quality materials, uh, but at a reasonable price because at that same price at the price that you can get Ferragamo full real genuine leather product, uh, Louis Vuitton sells their canvas stuff. It's no sense. <laughs> it's true. Like it's all brand. No, you know you know what? It's true because in terms of like the luxury goods space. Yeah. So when when you guys were talking about Birkins, I you know just the other day I was looking at my ties that I never use anymore. Yeah. And I'm like, I know I, I thought I, I thought I had more, you know, Hermé ties. And I looked, I know I ha I have one and I thought it would be like two, three or four. And it yeah. was like Hermes or Hermé, however we pronounce it was one. And then I had Ferragamo, 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 Ferragamo. So like I went to that lower, you know what I mean? Like the, I'm in there with, Italian fashion because I'm Italian, so I usually lean towards that ah, brand. Yes, and there was another brand. Well, Valentino also mm -hmm. they had a bag on this guilt site, right? Okay. So what they do is they're not going to have the the selection of the bags you just showed, which we could look at if people yeah. were interested. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll in terms of all, the whole, you know, the whole thing of Ferragamo bags, mm -hmm. they'll just have like. You know, two different bags, right? Mm. From Ferragamo that they happen to have five or ten, and they probably are last year's bag or something, you know, because they yeah, eat yeah. fresh all the time. Yeah. And they sell it at a, a 40%, you know, it's like getting uh, a watch. No, they just change where the straps attach and just the hardware refresh. And that's, that's no, that's not a, like a, a, a good reason to, to spend so much extra. And they give you, uh, you know, a pretty nice deal. You know, for uh, it was a forty percent, well, forty percent off there. So you know, retail price. If yeah, anyone pays retail. But if if you go into a Ferragamo store, you're paying full price. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, just really quickly here, Mister GMT, five dollars super chat. Harvey Specter wears Patek Philippe. Uh, that's right. Look at that. And uh, it looks like somebody figured out that it's fifty two oh four p. Let's take a look Ooh. at it. Yeah. 5204P. Oh. oh, yeah. Holy frick. It's ridiculous. 300,000? <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> 
Damn. Yeah, you can tell by the lugs. The lugs. Man, that's crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Relax. Some, some heavy is, hit. Wait, stuff. is it confirmed this is what he wears, though? I don't know. I mean, I don't uh, think that's what I... he wears. Because, guys, don't forget, a lot of the times they use these fake. Like, Robert Downey Jr. had a fake Omega Speedmaster that he got from a cast, right? Yeah. Like, a lot of the times they'll have fake watches and they'll wear them on set. You know what I mean? I mean, it's possible, of course. Mm, why would they do that? On a movie set? Like, yeah, of course. They have prop oh, watches. The, prop the watches. Bu the budgets are so high for those things. No, they but, always yeah. wear prop watches. Okay. I don't even know who Harvey Specter is, to be honest with you. Suits. You never watch Suits? Are you joking? Oh, Suits. Um, now, you know, look, when you do something for a living, uh, you don't want right. to watch it on TV. It's all. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah fair enough. It's all <laughs> bullshit anyway. I mean, correct. It's not actually how lawyers work, right? No, but it's, it, a, it's a fantasy a show, of what you think. They did a show be about me. Movie. I always, I always joked if uh, they did a real show about what what I do, and I don't do litigation, so I'm not in court, mm. you know, with all the drama. I just yeah. didn't, you know, want to do that. So I do more business stuff, uh, all business oriented stuff. So they'd you show me that makes that pays a lot of money. They, they, they'd show me. They'd show like a contract and they'd show me at a computer for like 10 hours and then on the phone. Yeah. What do you want? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then they'd show me again for three hours. All right. I got it. I got it. Okay. He's that would be the, that would be, 18, that would be the, the show. <laughs> yeah. Who would, episode, who would watch that? Jesus. Episode one, the end. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. right. I mean, these other shows, you know, they're running around. They're going to it's like the exotic locations. Right. They're flying. They're flying to the Cayman Islands. Wow. I'll go to the Cayman Islands, but I'll pay for it myself, you know? Um, but anyhow, what a paddock. Oh, this is, so let's yeah. get into this. This is uh, a nice chrono. And this is like chrono perpetual calendar. Oh, my God. It's one of those ridiculous. Oh, and we got Mr. GMT. Mr. GMT. One second, boys. I just got to fix my headphones. Okay. No, okay, okay. hurry up. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Joey short pants. Many rich people mm. rent jewelry for events. Oscars are prime example. I, I think I don't think they rent it. I don't think they rent it. You think that's just his watch? It's free publicity. They they let them wear Patek. it and then they give it back afterwards. Patek right. Philippe, right. Patek Philippe. You think? No, no Patek. But Bulgari does it 100. percent I know for mm. a fact Bulgari does it. Chanel. Omega. Oh, they'll force people who are well, Omega. Well, like nobody. No, no. Wear Marco. DLC, Marco. I think nobody uh, wears Bulgari for free. Like you would have to pay the actors to <laughs> to wear Bulgari. <laughs> and what's honest. his name? Uh, what's that guy? George Clooney. I think is his name. Yes, he gets massive amounts he, of money. He does Omega, Omega, right? Right. Yes. Omega. Yeah. He'll wear always an Omega. He's an ambassador. Yeah. So either Irish you're an breed. ambassador or you'll you'll wear it because it's like a promotion type thing. Yeah. Like yeah. people will wear certain couture brands, right? Like Versace or what have you. By, by the way, by the way, uh, Rolex doesn't do that. They actually specifically ban uh, right when uh, when when they were shooting uh, Psycho, right? They had to change script because Rolex said we don't want to be involved. Uh, Good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible movie, uh, but uh, yeah, I think I, I, it's possible that because this is this watch is kind of suits the character, uh, so it's possible that uh, Ooh, McCallie, McCallie, too. yeah, it's possible that they had uh, a replica and the uh, original. That way, uh, w you know, when they're shooting close-ups, they have the real one. When uh, it's some further away can shot. I can I come in here for a second? Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about this. This is why I came on. Yeah. Uh, because what happened is uh, they, they use they, they use prop watches, but they, they use a particular one that actually suits the character. So they got a prop watch. That in, they, they interviewed the guy that plays Harvey Specter, and uh, yeah. yeah, they said they got him a prop watch. He goes, he would never wear a watch like that, and it's way out of his price range, obviously, as being an actor, uh -huh. he reckons. But yeah, it was a prop watch, and that was the watch they used. Yeah. Wow. And they asked him, yeah. where did they get it from? They, they, and he goes, I can't answer that. So they don't know, they don't know if they got it made or if they bought a replica. Or he goes, I can't, I can't even say where they got it from. Hmm. Right. It's also possible the Paddock made, made one of those 
prop watch. It's like without a movement. Like, without a movement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dummy right? watch. Like, yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah. yeah, so yeah, because if, I was... If, they were, I, if they're I, so I, secretive I, about it, right? Because Paddock, let, let's, be, let's be clear, Paddock will make anything anyone wants. And if if a movie studio said we, we want one of like a, a, a you know a decoy one of these watches, I don't think that will be a big problem. They can just mill one of these out of steel and put a real dial on it. That's right. Yeah, I can you know? do it easily. It's easy enough to do. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's what he was wearing. That's what that's the status that wanted him to have for yeah. the show. So they made him wear that. Yeah. It's a crazy watch, yeah, about four hundred thousand dollar. Whoo! It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I, I've known this because I I was a big fan of Harvey, so mm. I found out everything about him years ago. So I knew what That's I wanted to go to law school to begin with. <laughs> yeah. so I'm not even joking. Man. I want to be well, a boss could... bitch lawyer, but I want to go into corporate <laughs> law because that's where the money is. Let's be honest. <laughs> and you would have blitzed it as well, I reckon. I reckon it would have been oh, awesome. Buddy, I'm not going back to school for law school. Forget it. It would be crazy. The money, the money's on Wall Street, man. I learned, I, I'll, I learned the hard way, man. <laughs> oh well, you got to do that then. Hey, Follow Mr. the GMT. money. Yes, Mr. GMT, you should do what? like daily life of Mr. GMT series. TV series. <laughs> <laughs> a day in life. Yeah, it, could be, um, it wouldn't be that exciting, I don't think. <laughs> oh, boys, I've got to run because I've got things to do. I just got right. to pop in and just chime in and let you know what I know. Hey, See thanks. You know. Thank you right. for Thank you, everything. Thank that you. was really Thank fun. You. Yeah, let's go back here. Now, you've got, got one... Mr. GMT has one. Of, I didn't see the collection. He told me how many pairs of shoes he has or sneakers Ooh, yes. or combination. Yes. That would be a show in and of itself. He's got a, yeah. He's like JJ. He's a super collector. He collects super everything. Coll yeah. Yeah. He's just, mm. yep. Yep. By the way, I'm selling my comic book collection. If anybody's interested, I have SpongeBob Tim Soul and Futurama. Well. <laughs> I got to tell you. It's a measly sum of a million dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna list them tonight so that they'll go up. Uh, let's try, so let's see. just, if you have the picture, we could share the um, the bag oh, yeah, that it's I got. The, it's in the Discord, yes. One okay. second, because I, I think it has the price on it too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there is no mystery. <laughs> Now I actually I I have a Ferragamo belt that I need to sell. Ferragamo. Ferragamo. <laughs> Fer Geronimo. It's been a long it's, it's been a long good. day. Ferragamo. Fer if when you, where's o Ocean when you need him? Exactly. You, you just he's watching. He's watching. Ed. Yeah, imagine he's watching. Hello. Be hilarious. Hi Ocean. Yeah. Hi Ocean. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Ocean. Hello Ocean. Hello. Hi Ocean. Hello. We miss you. <laughs> so this is the one you went with. Very stealthy with the with the black logo and uh, stealth zippers. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is the one I went with because they only had this. They had a Valentino and they had uh, Mancini, which I guess oh, is one of their known. Shitter. Really? I don't think it's good. And even I, that, I Valentino like is overpriced. It. Let's be honest. Valentino you know, was I, I was big shocked. in the eighties. Yeah, Valentino. They were. I agree, a hundred percent. Yeah, they were going. They had a bag for Valentino for like thirteen ninety nine. I'm out of their mm -hmm. mind. And I so looked at it. They, it was so good. They looked exactly the same. In fact, this had better measurements for the handle. Was like smaller, because sometimes the handle can be too long. So you're knocking like your knee when you're holding your bag. You know, so you want the smaller handle is the best. This has like. I don't know how many inches that is, and then the uh, the leather straps about twenty many four inch, inches. Many. It's big. It's big. Just the tip. It's just the tip. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. It looks good. Yeah, it's cool, right? So, yeah. like you know, it. now I can raffle off or give Marco the coach bag. I don't know what I want to do. What do you yeah. mean? I have a coach bag already. Well, you'll have two because I don't need this one. <laughs> I'm just getting everybody's. Hands I think like, actually, I'm actually, here, Marco, here, here, when you here. said you had a coach bag, I think that triggered. You know what? I gotta flick mine off. This is ridiculous. Actually, that coach bag is amazing. <laughs> Toyota I Moe. Use it. I, I use it the... as a daily with school. Toyota Moe is awesome. If I saw a lawyer with that bag, I think he's a cheap fiker who doesn't want to buy a new bag. Right. Ooh. You guys can't. He said that. That's the, the next pick. Like, 
has no place in a professional setting. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ouch. Exactly. He's a hundred percent right. Looks yeah. like it belongs in a nineteen eighty four Volvo station wagon. I mean, I don't I don't know what that is. Ooh, that's Captain, okay. you can't be wearing a blood. royal oak and carry that kind of yeah. that kind of. Because <laughs> <laughs> people will think I, that the royal go, oak is fake. Go. There's no right. way. There's no way. You should see um, some of the some of the shit that people wear, like with the dress down and everything. Yeah. And I'm not in New York City, so yeah. you know it's crazy. Like people don't even bring briefcases. Mm. I mean, they bring these beaten up like old times it, it's bad it's bad you bring backpacks backpacks i have yeah. valentino fragrance oh. valentino womo yeah what does womo mean said womo yeah womo. who knows I this know. is a really good stuff what does it smell highly like? recommend it well you uh no what does it smell like it smells, i, I oh, have that smells i have that like, one too uh, uh man like velvet what is this <laughs> Bear sweat? No, no, no. It's it smells like uh, Dior Homme. I just forgot what the flower is called. It's like this purple flower. What's what's that called? Lavender. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the other one. Uh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's is that the Valentino Womo uh, 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 Intense? Valentino Womo Intense. Yes. I have it. It's oh, a it very means man. Strong. JJ That's just a... told us Romo means man. Yeah. Thank I you. was just testing if uh oh Iris, Iris. 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 JJ. You know what? Tim? Iris. And I realize I don't like the scent of Iris. Yeah, it's very and I have unique. It. I Wait, have too is much Iris, Iris like that band? Is it like that band? The band? Yeah, isn't the there band. a band called Iris? And this thing is so strong, it blasts like, uh, like, like I don't know what. It's it's just crazy. It fills up a room, but the iris, it's not, it's not very. It's uh, it feels it's very 2010 smell. Uh, so right now everybody's taking out iris out of their fragrance. I don't know why, but it it could be cool date night, maybe evening if you go to a bar that's very dark. Valentino Womo Intense. The bottle looks so fucking cool. I don't want to sell it just because of the bottle. They're, honestly, though, their clothing is pretty... And a lot of their like accessories, like bags, Ooh, are and, very uh, expensive. Uh, JJ Lacoute says, Iris smells like lip lipstick. Yeah, it does smell like, very powdery. Oh, powdery. it's a song. Iris is a song. That's what it is. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's not you, the you really should, song. Yeah. You should have a list behind your shelf, right? To see what fragrance you still don't have. <laughs> then you start crossing them out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if I haven't tried, what what I have tried? Actually, I'm gonna be do. I'm doing. I'm gonna do a huge fragrance sale. I need to get rid of them. There's too much. Too much. By the way, Captain stuff. John Gold brings up a good point about can you knock a robber's tooth out with the new bag? That's why AC3 uses hard cases. <laughs> you know he ripped somebody's <laughs> tooth out, right, with his Louis Vuitton hard case. Oh, he's got a Louis Vuitton hard case? Oh, yeah. yeah. And See, somebody I... tried to steal his watch, and he hit him in his mouth, and it, the guy's tooth got stuck, and he ended up pulling his tooth out. A hard case. I got to tell you, a hard case. It's hilarious. Case is I like so, that video. It's so old school. That reminds me of my first bag when I, when I got out of law school. It was a big old, it was like this brick with like, Nobody uses you know, those anymore. No, though. you go chick, chick, and like the, the, <laughs> the thing opens up. It had like two yeah. lots on it. The thing was like this thick, Tim. It was like, Damn. like you could kill somebody. <laughs> People would get out of your fucking way if you're walking with that thing. To, to the bag I have now, it just shows you how technology, like I don't want to have any papers anymore. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. Just want to carry the computer. That's it. A pen. Yeah, you have a pencil case. case. Like I usually just bring pencil case, laptop, and that's it. You're done. You don't need. And maybe like a. You need like a one of those leather things where there's like a notepad. You know those notepad things? They mm -hmm. hold a notepad because it's professional. You know. Now, nowadays you hardly write anymore. So yeah. our, our right. handwriting exactly. is really gone south. Yeah. Yep. I honestly, just... I write cursive, so it's even yeah. worse because yeah. in university you learn to write so fast, right? So it's like I'm yeah. doctor writing. Yeah, would you say, legible. Marco? Would you say, Marco? Would you say that everybody's just trying to get their base weight down? <laughs> <laughs> Do some base jumping. Yeah, we're just trying to get our base weight down, guys. 
uh, JJ Lacoute, AC3, and Mr. Bentley from the Jeffersons are the <laughs> only two <laughs> left with Mr. <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I actually I do remember yeah. watching Archie's uh, videos from like five years ago and thinking, "Wow, the Louis Vuitton uh, case that's so cool." It's very impractical. I don't know how one would go about traveling with that thing, but I thought, "Ah, oh, it's so cool!" And you can get them at such a steep discount. Like in in the store, they're like ten thousand. What 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 happened? What what what? Yeah. Super slap, super slap. Three extra large. <laughs> if somebody wants. Uh, somebody wants a T-shirt. If somebody wants. To buy or just for no, free? Just free. For just free. Free. Who cares? Three okay. uh, All right. Free. My wife wants to donate a T-shirt. She accidentally bought a three XL. If anybody wearing three XL, shoot me an email and I'll mail it to. You. It's a it's an Under Armour T-shirt. There you go. Three XL. If anyone. It's a freebie. There you go. It's, it's not. It's twenty-five bucks. There you go. It's gonna be a donation. I'm giving back, giving back to the community, to the extra large among us. Extra, wow, that's pretty. Extra. That's pretty nice, man. There we go. A... You shoot me email timwrightcom at gmail dot com. <laughs> what size are you wearing, uh, Stephen? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to say it on that. No, I am, X, I am XL, but I'm not going to take the T-shirt. Thank you. Though. Yeah. Give it to one of your uh, your subscribers. Supporters. Yeah. I'm a supporter, but, you know. Yep. See, I, I deliver my stuff that, you know, I need Tim to sell or utilize. I'm getting rid of my comic book collection, too, <gasps> believe it or not. Yes. Mm. I have uh, SpongeBob and Futurama. <laughs> They were all worth nothing. I went through Google, like one by one, or YouTube, or uh, eBay. Yeah. It's like two dollars, a dollar. You know, it was like mm. bullshit. I was hoping to find like a ten thousand dollar comic book and buy, a, <laughs> maybe buy a Rolex. Mm -hmm. the, the, wow. the most I got was uh, six hundred and fifty for one of them. Yeah, that's Whoa. good. Wow. Yeah. No, <laughs> what, which which one was it? L uh, it was from the Akira series, I think. Yeah, that the comic, the Japanese anime. Thing. Mm. Anime. So right. yeah, that series. Yeah. Damn, that's incredible. Wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm just looking here. They're like five. They're actually four or five dollars each, and I have fifteen. The first fifteen issues. That's a. That's a hundred and fifty dollars. That's a good chunk of change. For me. <laughs> Better than than just keeping all this stuff, just hoarding and and possessing. Just get rid of. Because lower my base weight in the apartment, apartment base weight it feels it feels good when you get rid of uh, declutter you know, a lot of excess junk. Yes, declutter, declutter, and just keep the watches and get rid yeah. of and the and the colognes. Yeah, the perfume. All I need, let's be honest, all I need is my camera gear, my Rolexes to film. Right, I need something to film. Right, my fragrances, and I just need a couple of books. The computer. I need to upgrade the computer. So to edit the footage because some of the footage my computer cannot handle. So I need to get like a really good editing computer. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I think I dialed all my gear down to the basic. I know what I want and I'm after it. Uh, Joey short pants LV briefcases are perfect for carrying a bag phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Jungle says the shirt may fit Nickel and Nard. <laughs> <laughs> may, way, <laughs> may and may not. I'm actually. I have a. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing a little project. I'm gonna try to finish it today. That's why I'm gonna. I'm gonna end the show in like 20 minutes. I'm gonna try huh? to like one one hour show. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to finish up editing the video. I'm, I'm stitching together all of the events that uh, led up to day 88 the infamous day 88 uh, because a lot of people emailed me like what what happened what happened how did this happen so how did these events transpire so i'm going to try to do it. and i'm just this is going to be released only to members members only because i don't know if i'm allowed to use the footage right uh, 
because there's timepiece gentleman footage. What's and wrong for with me that? To... Fair use. Uh, it's fair use. If you get it taken down, then you can definitely contest it. But the thing is, though, I haven't read the fair use agreement. They, like, maybe there's so certain lit, like you can use two minutes or thirty yeah, seconds. A few, then it's a few fair seconds use. or something. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't read the contract because I'm putting in. Substantial... I mean, how much are you gonna put it? Well, I'm gonna put as much as I can. I'm gonna cut out like the when they're talking about flipping watches and what's your favorite fight off watch. Why don't you just skip to the point? Yeah, but aren't you just talking about the Oisin, uh, Oshin part? Yeah, I know that that's the fun part, but I want to... how did well, I sent you Oshin the screenshot do... of uh, what's it called when he commented, like mm -hmm. you're a legend, Archie, in the Timepiece Gentleman stream. Yeah. Just put that, and that's why he ended up joining, because all the other guys were... No, but some people, they haven't seen the pre-show. Pre they haven't seen... They don't even know uh, how did this collaboration even happen. They don't know the about build. the shite sandwich... Yeah. And what led up. to the shite sandwich? Some people are like, what? What is this shite sandwich? So it's it's uh, it's the whole thing. It's like six hour video or something. It's ridiculous. You you, you got to do it like Oshin style. Build up the drama right up to the climax. Storytelling. No, I I don't have the, that. Would be that would be amazing. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to make that kind of video tomorrow. So I'm going specifically tomorrow. I'm waking up like four o'clock. Maybe no, let's not be crazy. Maybe four o'clock. <laughs> Oh, no, Maybe, yeah. I'll try to wake up yeah. five o'clock, oh, take the train, be there at six, and and try to film some kind of a movie. I don't know. You you woke up pretty early for Austin's mm. show, right? Austin Daniel no, show. No, that was middle oh, no. of the day. That was All middle right, of the cool. day for me. Right. Yeah, I didn't even know. I I uh, I went. I woke up really late because me and Tommy were were like having a debate <laughs> until like. <laughs> 4 30 in the morning <laughs> but tommy we need to do streams together <laughs> when we just talk about uh just uh, no, not watch related stuff yeah so after that i woke up super freaking late i went out got the sandwich came back i was eating the sandwich turned on the computer and austin is doing live show. i'm like oh shoot I'm eating sandwich and Austin just keeps put, posting a link and nobody's joining. So I'm like, uh -huh. okay, I finished up my sandwich real quick and I joined his uh, his live stream. And it was, guys, and also I, for those who don't know, I downloaded the stream from, from <laughs> Austin and I put it uh, for members only on my channel. It's just like a backup. It's a backup. I think it's fair use, right? I'm not... Uh... <laughs> Uh, sending it to everyone and uh, anyone. Oh, and we got Joe Kramer. Joe, how's it going? Oh, what's going Hello. on, Joe? Hey, Joe. Hey, Marco. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey. Hey. How are you? Hey. Woo. Hey, Joe. How's Good. Going, Crazy man? couple of days. Nice <clears throat> the legend. The legend. Can you give us the collection update? I'm not really a whole lot's changed with my collection. Um, mm -hmm. Officially Omega Free. Considering a JLC uh, at the time, maybe a Grand Seiko. I haven't really decided because it's the same amount of money. Yeah. The only thing I like about the Grand Seiko a little bit more is it's a little bit more universal. It's a GMT. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the JLC, is a strictly one trick pony um, and, and as far as the dress watch. Yeah. Um, the reverse. Yeah, the reversal, the uh, stainless steel version. Um, yep. I don't really get dressed up that much. I mean, I'm in a suit maybe 12 to 15 times a year, and that's being generous. So. No, no, that one time you joined us, you were looking pretty sharp. With I mean, most of the time, it's either strip clubs, weddings, or funeral. That's the only time I'm usually dressed up for. So, uh, <laughs> so it's not like I get dressed up a whole lot, but the Grand yes. Seiko GMT <laughs> is kind of appealing to me. And at 39 mils... Kind of fits the kind of fits the sweet spot more or less. Oh wait, are we yeah. talking the SPGM two two one? Uh, the, the one that's like uh, not the not it's kind of like the white bridge, but it has the dial turned sideways and kind of blued up. Is the cream dial not the cream dial? No, it's not the cream. They just released it here. Um, literally just got released like two weeks ago. Oh. Let me see. Can. Let's, uh, Marco. Let's put up your screen and you start searching. So now, but uh, so you you just liquidated some watches. 
But I you... did, and I added one watch to the collection. <gasps> I added one watch, and it's not really anything special, but like I said, it uh, keeps with the Rolex family, more or less. Mm-hmm. And I've been using it as a daily beater. And I got to say, I got to be honest, to use Archie's words, I got to be honest. I got to be honest. Um, I kind of like it. I mean, I do. Uh, Is so, it this one here? No, not, it's not that one. It's, um, so there's a green dial variant and a blue one that kind of has the waves to it. It's, it's part of their, um, waves. four the seasons? seasons collections. Yeah. The four season collection. Ooh. That's the part. Uh, oh, this one, one here? right there, like right in the middle, right next to the green Oh, one. okay. Yep. Holy. It's that oh. one. That's the Thank most you. special, unique one I can, as far as I can tell, of the, of the four. Exactly. And it's for yeah, the same amount nice. of money, if we're rounding up, so to speak, seven yeah. yeah. K for the grant uh, or for the grant cycle and seven K for the JLC, they're yeah. they're completely two different um, cuts of thread. But yeah. I feel like the Grand Seiko has a little bit more unique ability to be um, used more in multiple ways. Yeah, now, but Joe. Yeah. Joe, the strippers don't like these kind of watches, Joe. Isn't that what's important? <laughs> Come on, man. They like the Rolex. Look at Sean. Yeah, but, but you know what, though? If you don't had like to, JLC Reversos, exactly. If you had to pick between a JLC Reverso and a Grand Seiko GMT mm. for a stripper, it's the GMT all yeah. the way, I think. I mean, that touch of blue, that touch of That's deep blue really pops on that dial. I love the hands. Mm. Uh, the hands, like, let, let, I mean, no one can really argue the Grand Seiko hands are like, they're like swords mm. almost. They're finished nicely. It, they're, they're you like know, the I guess the But when we talk so from sharp. like a horology point of view, the GLC is, you know, the cream of the oh, crop. Yeah. It, actually, they're it's, pretty it's on par. Pick. JLC and Grand yeah. Seiko. I, actually, they're pretty comparable, to be fair. They're both like finished it. at the highest, like, very high Very stand. high level, very, yeah. If now, I can get this watch for like five and a half, I'm all over the Grand Seiko, honestly. Mm. Yeah, it just makes more sense for me, wow. anyways. I mean, I got to be totally, totally honest with you. You got to get it GMT from Rolex. Nobody makes a GMT like Rolex, guys. Bruce Wayne. Mm. But the, Two the, the GMTs way. from Rolex are limited with me, anyways. Like, I, yeah. either, I mean, don't get me wrong. No doubt the Pepsi is beautiful. Explore I like too. it. Explore too. I already turned on the explosion. Ah, uh, they're too big. Too big. Oh, it's too big. It's too yeah. big. And you got to like that style. So it's either yeah. the root beer or the bat girl. And I would really want the bat girl before the Batman, honestly, because I've never had a Jubilee in my collection. Mm. So, mm. Jubilee bracelet mm. style, anyways. But mm. <clears throat> I don't feel like paying 10 grand over either, personally. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. I understand. I understand that. Man, it's a. Uh... It's a brutal world, like paying over retail Wait, for... Wait, you still have the two-tone Yaw Master? That's all that really matters. Yeah, I still have the two-tone Yaw Master. Oh, I tend... Good. I mean, I mean, I like it. As that's far a strip as, club like, watch. You can't get rid of that. No, it... it for me, it's... It, in my flaming. collection, it's the fuck you watch of my collection. It's yeah. the two-tone... It's the your watch. It's the your watch. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. And it, it fits it better. You. It fits mm. better for... As opposed to the Submariner. But, so let, um, let's see the reveal. Let's see the reveal. So I did buy the um, oh, Schroeder Black nice. Bay Blue. Very cool. Um, it's kind wow. of it's kind of a wow. nod to a uh, heritage, more or less, because my very first watch, if we're not including uh, Tag Hoyer, my very first watch was a Tudor, but with the black dial and blue bezel. Hmm. And the thirty nine just fits me to a perfect T. Like it, it's just. It's perfect when I'm, when we're talking about size, um, and it, it's lighter than my Submariner, honestly. Uh, and I absolutely love it. I, I use it for two weeks straight um, for like all my mechanical work and stuff like that, and it it, can, it literally takes a beating and keeps on ticking. Um, it's just a fun watch to have, fun watch to be able to rely on and everything else. I mean, it's had everything on it from grease to diesel fuel to dirt, mud, and water. It's it's just a, it's the ideal perfect uh, daily beater watch for me, more or less. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, it's I'm, a perfect beater that you don't you don't you you don't need to feel like completely bad about. Like that, that's uh, Mr. GMT's choice, Mr. GMT. And I bought it off Joma shop. I didn't really care about the warranty, uh, more mm-hmm. or less. So I got it at a, I won't say a steep discount, but a nice discount nonetheless. So 
Hey, it's it's nice watch to have in the collection, and it cl it completes the Rolex family, if you will. If, if you, you want to look at that way. We love our tutors. Black Bay Fifty Eight. Yeah, gotta have it. I I had a chance actually. I like to the blue though. I like I like the blue. I might if I get tired of this, which I don't know if I will, because mm. these are just so good. Mm. I could go. You could go blue. You know, if you don't get tired yeah. of one, you. Probably a lot of trading going on between the uh, black and the blue, but the blue is uh, special. Mm. It's a great choice, Joe. Great, great choice. So, what's the what's the, the state of the collection right now? That that will be uh, the Black Bay, the Black Bay. Yep, yep. The Yacht Master, two tone. Yacht Master, yep, two tone. And I still have the Explorer, but I mean, if you looked at Explorer prices right now, oof. Time to flick it. Oof. I mean, <laughs> time to flick it. Oh, you, you have the 39. <laughs> flick it, it man. Flick it. Yours. It's time to flick it, baby. Flick the it. only issue flick I had. Exit, is exit visas are imminent. It's a future collectible. Don't do <laughs> that it. That was my very first Rolex. Okay, that was my very first Rolex. But oh. at the prices right now, I mean, it. If, it, if it jumps up to like, what was it now? 11 to 12,000 right now on average. Yeah. On yeah. average. If it yeah. jumps up to that thirteen to fifteen somewhere, I mean, at what point do I just kind of sit back and say, you know, this is crazy money that I'm, I'm passing up on? I well, why don't sell. you sell, yeah. Joe? Why don't you sell your Explorer and sub and get a Bruce Wayne? <sighs> Two watches for the price of one. Mm. I don't know if I do that. Honestly. I mean, you could sell your Explorer and sub. You get a Bruce Wayne, and then you'll have your Bruce Wayne, your Yacht Master, and you have your Daily Beater, the Tuna. Mm. That's the thing. I've actually, I've actually come around to the submarine, although it's a, I find it a bit heavy at times. Well, yeah. I've yeah. actually come around to it. I've actually come around to it. Um, I do like it a lot more. But you know, if 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 someone were to ask me, you know, pick one, watch from the entire collection right now, I'm choosing the Yacht Master every time because of the mm. weight, the way it looks. That was that was the one watch that really. Um, it's a black dial too. It's a black dial with red lettering. I'm not saying that they're hard to get. Not saying that they're you know wildly they're common, but yeah, they're yeah they're very expensive. At the same time, you know, people who typically buy them understand that you can't flip them for anything. As a matter of fact, yeah. you'd honestly take a loss on them nowadays. Oh yeah, uh, but I still like it nonetheless. It's a two tone variant. I don't know yet. I I, I still don't know what I want to do yet. I'm not, my collection is still very much up in the air at times. Mm. There are times where I really want that GLC. There are times where I really want that Grand Zico. And then there are times where I really throw something in the mix and say, you know what? Why not get a Cartier two tone? You know? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but... no, 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 no. <laughs> the Santos two tone is pretty nice. I had it on wrist. Is that the one you're looking at? Joe? I am. I'm looking at the yellow gold. So I'll, I, I've, I've never had a true yellow gold in my collection. And I've never had a pure white dial in my collection either. So, um,. It's two different routes I can take, more or less. Man, I would Cartier not. Is I would not go two tone Cartier. That's uh, a little bit. Uh, I'm not a big it's fan. Downside. of downside. You got steel, rid of Omega, Omega to go to Rolex, and then you want to go to Cartier. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now here's the thing. Um, my other Rolex up in the city still has the steel Daytona. It's been sitting there for about three weeks now. From 2013. Now I understand why it's still sitting there. It's almost 11 grand over retail, but you know, you got to pay to play more or less. But for the wow. same amount of money, I can get a Patek Philippe and what is it? I think 39 mil, Calatrava, yeah. from 20. Uh, I think I think it's from late 2019 for 15k. I I, I could be wrong on the year more. Wait, less. what's the model? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What's the model? Yeah, 15,000. I could be wrong on the model. I'd have to look it up on the was, was, We need pictures. We need pictures of that watch sent in. Yeah, so that I can buy it? Yes. I might be completely wrong on that, so don't hold me to it. But I, the I'm Submariner pretty sure. is officially for sale, guys. If anybody <laughs> wants to pick it up, I'm getting a pad of color travel. Yeah, was it the travel time that we discussed earlier? No, it was just a simple three-hander. It was a simple three-hander. Oh, okay, okay. No, not that one. I mean, let me look it up in the cities here. Am I still being the website? It's here? possible. I mean, you, 15 seems a little bit on the low end, obviously, but who knows? I, think, I don't think, I don't think it has box and papers. I don't think it has box and papers. Ooh, naked. You don't want naked. Oh. No, okay, if, if you can get archive. What's the reference? What's no, the reference? archive, archive. 
What's the reference? Five two two seven. You know what? I take that back. I uh, I was I was partially wrong. So it's from the nineteen fifties. Reference twenty four fifty. Ooh, uh, 14,900. Um, no box of papers. What's the size? Not 39. It's a condition. Uh, it is 35. Like so that's, that's, yeah, 30. that's my fault, 100%. That's, all, that's small, my fault, small, 100%. Uh, 30. But for him, that's not terrible. Oh. Well, plus it's Well, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong there. For, I have like a, I have a 6.3 inch wrist, so it wouldn't yeah. be that terrible, let's yeah. be honest here. Yeah. Joe, get the man. Bruce Wayne. The Bruce Wayne, the Yawmaster, and the Chuna. That's all the man needs. What more do you need, man? So is, is it... Is, focus oh, collection. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Does it look like this? Uh, no. It, 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 oh, no, yeah. I, I take that back. Yes, it, it looks it? pretty close to that. Yes. Um, I, my, uh, it all, they also have another one in white gold here. 37 millimeters, 16... Let's just call it 17 grand because they're adding $900 mm -hmm. in there. Uh, 5196 white gold in 37 millimeters as well on a leather strap. Uh, no box or papers on this one as well. So, why not a 5127? 5127. You get the <sighs> display back to the 5127 as opposed Personally, to the 5127. I mean, I may be that one guy who says, I don't give a really, I don't give a flying fuck about a display case. So, part really of buying a care. paddock, it's for the level of finish. But. <laughs> They if you, if you get they it, that with a you, tiny movement and you might, display back. yeah, you might, you know, you might get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I don't know, or not. I mean, how often do you, oh, okay, put it this way for me, anyways. If we're talking me, anyways, I don't really take off my watch and just look at the case back, honestly, a whole lot personally. Yeah, but it's a nice thing to have, you know what I mean? Rolex is closed, case but, back. Two but nice they, I, I just see back. they just listed a 2002 Rolex GMT Master 2. Coke for fifteen thousand five hundred. Nah. You tried modern and... bracelets. You wouldn't like the vintage bracelets. Why not? I don't mind them. I just, it solid I just, endless, they rattle a whole lot. But you know what? I, I think that it adds a special charm to them a little bit. I mean, that's vintage or rather classic. It's um, neo yeah. vintage. Neo vintage. Wow. Yeah. Box yeah. certificate dated March two thousand three. I just don't like the twelve-hour markers. The two there—that's the only thing I don't like. But it's a nice looking watch. Oh yeah, yeah. at the twelve o'clock. Yeah, Joe, I mean the, the thing. Philippe? The thing about a uh, vintage Patek Philippe is, aren't they like? Isn't it dangerous to go down that road? No, no, no. Patek no. services everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like if, you, probably... if you don't know vintage, they always say don't go into vintage without really knowing. Oh vintage. no, that's for Rolex. That's for Rolex. I don't mind I think that vintage or everything. classic. It's just it, it has to be really. I'll be that one guy who you know, and it goes against everything against vintage. But I'll be the one guy who who will take interest in vintage if everything has been serviced, a little bit of polish on there. I get I get a hundred percent why people hate that because it takes away from value. Yeah. But at least at the end of the day, I know everything's ready to go. It's ready to wear. It's ready to be uh, in normal elements to a degree. Hmm. But I get why people don't like that too as well. Mm. So, so what's what's going on? My wife says I'm off tomorrow. What does that mean? <laughs> That's great that working. she's off, but I'm off. Uh, I'm I'm doing a filming trip. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what this means. So she's gonna have to spend a day by herself. It's pretty cool. Uh, ask people who married better to go filming or take a walk with me tomorrow. Ah, well, there you go. I think well, it's a think, pretty easy answer. Do, do you do you dare to go, go filming in summer? <laughs> do, I mean, remem remember the hike event? Yes, Tim, you there, can go there hiking. There is one more watch I'm considering. <laughs> Yo, which one? Which one? I'm considering embracing the old man ways and getting a date just 36 mil purple dial. Wait, oh Jubilee bracelet. Just Wait, they just 36? That's always a perpetual with a purple dial. Oh, pur purple dial. Hold on a sec. Sounds a little funky. That's vintage. That's vintage, right? The great no, dial. It, it's modern. It's modern. They it's, are it's purple full on purple. Yep. There's one oh. in my AD right now. That's what they the, haven't no, been able to move it for almost four six months. Six and nine, no? Yes. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't recommend that. That's that's madness. That's very pimping. Pimping. Because they offered Pimpin. me, they offered me a forty-one mil black dial, uh, bedazzled in Dude, diamonds. Dude, you know what? If Ooh. they give you a Bruce Wayne with that as a combo meal deal, take it. Is it new or this is used? No, it's new, brand new. 
It's new. So so say that I you want this one and the Bruce Wayne. You get a pimpin' watch and you get a, a GMT Master 2. That's a one way to do it. I, I mean, no, you're not wrong there. Yeah. You're not wrong. Because I know, uh, I'm still I'm still on the fence of what I want for my next watch, my last. Yeah. I mean, because if we look at Rolex, I'm pretty much done with Rolex as far as you know. I can't get a Sea Dweller because it's too big on me. The Explorer Two is too big on me. The Sky Dweller is too big on me. The Yacht Master mm. uh, Forty Two Millimeters in the first one is too big on me. Yeah. I've already got the uh, Submariner. <laughs> Be um, careful with the bottle. I've already got <laughs> look uh, the Explorer Thirty Nine Mil. <laughs> I mean, Marco's in shock right now, but <laughs> uh, the only other watch I'd really consider is the uh, the Mill Gauss, the Blue Mill Gauss, and maybe Ooh. the Oyster Perpetual in 41 mils if I could pull it off in red mm. or Tiffany. But that's about it as far as Rolex, as far as I'm concerned. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's. I like I like this new Joe Kramer. Oh, that, Very... I'm ready to go to JLC. I'm ready to go to JLC. Get yeah. a simple reversal. I'll be I'll be the first to admit it. Yeah, I'll go cheap on the reversal because <laughs> I don't dress up that much. Hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Danger says uh, somebody called nine one one. Marco had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, man, that's a uh, hell of a hell of a uh event but i have to wrap this up everybody because as i said I, i'm doing a short show today because i need to edit a video and i just want to thank everybody who joined me today joe it was pleasure to have you on the show to give us a little update on your journey uh and uh yeah i, I want you to come back again uh, thank you, Steven. Steven, when the bag comes in, let me know. We'll we want to see. We want to see the the shots, side shot, back shot. <laughs> want to see it, what it looks like on your head? <laughs> I hope it. I hope it fits a computer at least, a laptop. <laughs> I have no them. idea. Wait, you Marco? didn't check the description. No, I read it. Oh, okay. it's good. Yeah. Marco, thank you. Uh, Casey, thank you for joining hey, me. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I still don't know whether I'm going to go filming tomorrow. I think I will. No, I you I have to go to... for the walk. I have to figure this out. How can I squeeze <laughs> uh, a filming session in there? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be tricky, everybody. We'll see. It. We'll see. It. <coughs> if I don't, if there's no live show tomorrow, I, then, then, then I'm probably dead. <laughs>